The question is, what does it mean? What does the scripture mean by us human beings made in the image of God? What an amazing question. What a deep question, a question that I have asked uh, long ago. What, what makes me different from all the other created beings that walk on this earth? Have you ever had the opportunity of, of watching a sunset go behind Catalina and, and you marvel at that sunset? But yet, you know, that sunset's never looking and marveling at you. You are different than all other beings of the creative order. What does it mean that you and I are made in the image of God? The, the best theological definition that I've ever heard is this. God in his image is a moral, free being with the ability of thought and reason and choice. You and I, made in God's image, are a moral free, that means we have free will. We are a moral, we, we have a sense of what's right and wrong. We are a moral free being uh, with the ability of thought, reason, and choice. This is what sets us apart from any other being in God's creative order. When you, when you read in Genesis chapter 1, God says, let us make mankind in our image. What does that mean? This is what it means. What's, this, what's so unique about you and I, or even people about the angelic beings. There are, there's another being that God created that was also made in his image, and they're angels. Angels are moral, free beings with the ability of thought, reason, and choice. And when, with freedom comes the ability of choosing. Uh, we can choose to accept God or reject God. We can choose to love God or not love God. We have free will. This is what makes you and I so different than every other created being that walks on the earth. You are very special in the eyes of God. There's something unique about who you are. There's a divine spark in you because you are made in God's image. And thus you are, are more valuable than any other created being that he made on this planet. Good question. Pastor Frank, what does it mean to be made in the image of God? The best one I can give you is this. God is a moral free being with the ability of thought, reason, and choice. And you are a moral free being with the ability of thought, reason, and choice. It says in, in Isaiah, let us reason together, God says. Let us reason together, says the Lord. God speaks to you and I each and every day. Can I please talk with you? Can we reason? God's not asking a dog to do this. God's not asking the, the, a sunset to do this. He's talking to you and me. We're different.